Hello, my name is Charlie Evans, and I'm a software developer on the Call for Code team at IBM. And today, I want to talk to you about a NoSQL offering on IBM Cloud called Cloudant. Now, Cloudant is a NoSQL database, and offer, there's a managed offering on IBM Cloud. It is based on Apache CouchDB. So let's just jump right in. In order to create a Cloudant service, you can go to the catalog here, and you can either filter on the left by category or you can just search. I'm just going to search here and say Cloudant. I'm going to pick that. And it should take you right to the page to get it set up. Now there is a um, free or light tier offering that you can make use of as you can see here the Cloud and Light. And there are certain limitations with that but this is a great way to get started with the service. Now I already have one in my account so we're going to go to my resource list here. And then under services and software, you can see that I have a cloud demo. So we'll just open that up. Now from the interface here, there's a few things that you can do. On this manage tab, uh, you can get an overview about your cloud and instance. And there's a couple pieces of information that are important here, uh, especially if you're gonna connect it with an application. Um, you'll use one of these external endpoints. Um, you can see there's a preferred one here. That's obviously the one you wanna make sure you use. There are authentication methods that you can use here, typically with uh, IBM Cloud IAM, and you can set that up or you can make use of the service credentials here. You can look at uh, the capacity details and the, the plan that you're on, and you can even upgrade your plan here if you have those capabilities to do so, and that'll give you information about it. And then there's a tab for uh, accessing the documentation, and it gives you all the uh, direct links to everything that you need to know. So to actually open the service, you click this launch dashboard button over here. You can see now we are in the Cloudant interface. Um, over here, you have your navigation menu that has uh, a bunch of different um, pages that you can go to. It defaults you to databases, but you can also go check the monitoring and look at things like your reads, writes, and queries. You can uh, you know, enable replication here and set all of that up. There's uh, a tab that shows all the active tasks that are going on with your database, such as, you know, replication or indexing or whatever that is. And you can access documentation and support, etc. So on the databases here, if you don't have one, you can create a database just by clicking create database here and give it a name. You can get some information on uh, partitioning. That will, and you can decide whether or not you want to partition this database. And then once you create it, it'll show here in your databases. So we're going to go into this one that I have that's existing already. And when you come in here, you can see that there's a few things you can do. You can run queries. You can enable permissions based on IM, and it you know gives you some documentation to go figure that out. You can view all of the changes that have happened in your database. And then you can create these design documents that are like a schema for your, uh, your database entries. Because this is NoSQL, it's based on JSON. So you, know, you have JSON objects that you're making use of. Um, and you can actually adhere to that and give it some structure by providing a design document here. So when we're looking at our table entries here, you can see that there's a few ways to view that. By default, it picks this metadata, but we can pick JSON, for example, and you can see that for the couple of records that I have in my table, that there's a JSON object here that has all the different pieces of information in it, right? And then these uh, four pieces here are the items that I created, or the columns that I created. You can also view it in tabular format as well, it, more like a traditional database. Now from the interface here, you can do a few different things. You can create a new document, right? Um, so in here, um, you would just simply input in uh, JSON format the information you wanna record. Um, and you can add whatever you want in here. And if there are columns that don't already exist, Cloudant will create those for you. So if I came in here and I had my name, and you know, I put my name here, but then I have something that's like, you know, uh, you know, camera model. And we'll say Canon M200. And I save this and I create it. 
you can see here that it's still inserted my document into the database. And because I didn't have a comment or a date, um, it did not include that piece of information, but it did create another column called camera model and it has a piece of information here. I can also edit this by uh, either in table or JSON view just by clicking here and then I can make whatever edits. So let's say I decide I wanna put a date in. And we'll put today's date and we save. Oh, forgot a comma, save. So now I have my date in here and my name and my comment and my camera model, etc. cetera. Um, you can also um, delete records. So you can just simply check the box here and you can click the little trash can icon to delete records. You can get a confirmation, I say okay, and it's gone. And there's many more things you can do um, with this. Um, obviously this is a very simple demonstration but this is a really quick way to get started. Using the endpoints, you can interact with this from an API level. There are a few client libraries available in some programming languages, such as Java, Node.js, uh, Python. But if, if you're making use of a language that doesn't have a client library available, you can make use of it with these endpoints. And there's documentations on all the different endpoint uh, API calls that you can make. So if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me on Slack. I would be more than happy to help. Thank you and have a wonderful day.